reach a first ever quarter final at this particular event. Uh, well, this is the bottom half of the men singles draw. And as you can see, just three seeds because Anna Zantensen yesterday beat the number eight seed, Paranoi of India. World champion Kulu Dwidasan, he's in this half of the draw. And indeed, the Asian Games gold medalist, Li Shi Fang. So here come the players, led out by Koki Watanabe. And the tour of the two men, Anna's Antonsen, follows behind. Well, Antonsen is making his fifth appearance here at the Malaysian Open and only twice uh, prior to this year had got through the first round uh, but then lost in the second round in both 2019 and again last year. Last year he lost out to Anthony Sinisuka Ginting. In 2019 he lost out to Xiu Chi. So this will be a third meeting between the two players Anna Zantensen having won both previous the encounters. Decide, service or receive? Receive, receive service. So Anna Zantensen wins the toss of the coin and chooses ends. The last time they met, we briefly service saw, over. was in the quarterfinal of the Seven. Arctic Open Eight. last year. That was a 500 event, 21-14 in the deciding game in an hour and 18 minutes. Antonsen won on that occasion. As far as uh, Koki Watanabe is concerned, he's going to turn 25 later this month. Born in Saitama Prefecture. Koshigaya, to be precise. 166, I had him down at 167, but about 5 foot 6 inches. And he's playing off his career high of 23. His eighth week in total. Well, it was disappointment for the home fans in the first round because poor old Ang Si Yong, the Commonwealth Games silver medalist, had to retire after just 13 minutes. He had a bad back. It was quite clear he was struggling to move right from the onset of the match. Anna's Antonsen is 26 years of age, born in Aarhus, and six foot one I have him down as. He has been as high as number two, two uh, four weeks at number two. That was back in 2022, September time. Two finals uh, last year for him. Won the Korean Open and lost in the final in Singapore. Put out the number eight seed, uh, the World Championship bronze medalist, Pranoy, who was also bronze medalist at the Asian Games last year as well. So that first round encounter was the two bronze medalists from the World Championships last year in Copenhagen because Anna Antonsen also won a bronze medal at those World Championships. In fact, Antonsen has won a total of three World Championship medals, a silver and two bronzes. Silver was back in uh, Basel in 2019. So that's Antonsen's personal coach, Joachim Pearson. Our court officials, uh, umpire Salman from Malaysia, and service judge Ban from the United States of America. Yusuke Nakanishi, the Japanese coach. So we didn't really have much of a chance to see this man's form in his first round match. Point three, point seven, Only 13 point minutes three, against Ng Si Yong.
beloved kids. Ladies and gentlemen, Please. on my right, Anders Antonsen, Denmark. And on my left, Koki Watanabe, Japan. Anders Antonsen to serve, love all, play. So Anders Antonsen of Denmark for the world number two. On getting this second round match underway. Now, Steen, I thought that in his first round against number eight seed Pranoy, I thought he was looking sharper, the Dane, than I've seen him for a while. Yeah, I, um, I, um, I heard some of the um, interview given to uh, Danish TV, and he was quite satisfied with that match. One, he also no. had a lot of respect for Koki Watanabe. The last match in the uh, Arctic Open, he felt that uh, he was lucky to uh, get away with a win there. And Tunson, uh, uh, the Japanese, is a tricky player. India versus Erka Long, Angus, Hong Kong, China. Empire, Michael Perth, Germany. Service over. Malaysia. One, all. I was interested yesterday, Steen, you described Watanabe as a terrier. I asked yeah. you to summarize his his style of play, and you described him as a terrier. I thought that was a wonderful uh, expression to describe his style of play. Cool. Quick on his feet and, um, and not really um, that more patient. He is patient, but he's not passive. Yeah. Um, like um, some of his uh, fellow countrymen, so he's he's actually trying to put uh, consistent pressure on his opponent. Look at that. Yeah. Well, if Watanabe is a terrier, how do you describe Antonsen then? Um, as a fox. Excellent. I think um, a smart player using uh, good good at getting his play uh, his the game going on his um, conditions. Nice. That's, That's a good um, steep smash. The second one. Three, two. So what we really have on this court is um, a dog, a fox terrier. <laughs> the fox terrier oh. against the fox. from uh, a Danish point of view. He looked to be in total control there, Antonsen. Even though he's playing with the drift. Thank you. Oh, this rally so far. Service over. Three, four. Well, what an hour, Bay. Made a real breakthrough, I think, this year. This past 12 months, I should say, because he actually won the Swiss Open, having been promoted from the qualifying draw. Beat Chorty and Chen in the final, having beaten Li Chuk Yu in the quarter-final and Nisi Jha in Five. the semi-final. That's Three. not just winning the tournament, how he won the tournament yeah. with those results back-to-back. -back. I thought it was a big breakthrough. And he followed that up uh, towards the end of the year, didn't he, Steam, by 
reaching the final of the Korean Masters, where he lost out to a certain Kento Momoto. How wonderful to see Momoto back. Yeah, and, and uh, I think the same has just happened in the All Japan Championships, where they uh, played the final at Naroka um, with Drew, should be said. Uh, and Momoto won that final again. He was actually here in the um, beginning of the week, hoping to get in. Yeah, if one more player had uh, pulled out a little injured, then I think Momota was the next Ladies one to uh, take a place Number in the main line. draw. He was. Oh, yes. Well-constructed rally from Antonsen. Six, three. This is where, from what we've seen the last... Um, Three, four tournaments. Antonsen has bettered his um, uh, stamina, and rallies like this seems to uh, not affect him as much as they did earlier on. I think he looks fitter and trimmer, stronger. Yep. Well, that's one of the benefits of being injury free. Two, one. Service over. Seven, four. Won by Yu Shen Chu and Tati 21 19 3 1 10. Oh, that's nice. My goodness, man. So it's over. Good quality on the follow up. Five. Yeah. Seven. That was flat over the net, but it was right Four. towards the sideline at the back of the court. Look where this lands. Yeah. That's a super shot. So I think Watanabe, given his height, he can't expect to get the really big follow-up opportunities uh, on his smashes. So he's got to make the most of the opportunities that he gets. And that requires extra high quality. Good defense from Anton. He gets a wonderful angle, Eight, but it's five, also uh, a great six, disguise shot, one. this, from Antonsen. Here it comes. Yeah. Twists that racket head at the last moment to uh, find the angle and uh, keep it. Well, he hit pretty much from the middle of the court, so it's not really cross-court and it's not straight, but his opponent couldn't tell which side it was going to come. Oh, and, and the thing is that it's Antonsen's uh, favourite... Um, hitting actions, so to speak, from left to right. So um, I think it's perhaps 65% chance that it's going to go to the backhand side of uh, Watanabe, but um, not necessarily certain that the uh, Japanese team is alert to this. Wow, perfect. Yeah, I thought it was the longest rally. Again, good quality seven, on the lift eight. to uh, the backhand side of uh, Antonsen there from Watanabe. Right trajectory, right pace. Four, 
seven. Hayne's done well, back level. Koki Watanabe. Oh. Has he hit a cross match on, on, uh, from that position yet? Watanabe, I think he's hit straight down the line all the time. Thank you. Well, Six. you and I are great believers that you've got to mix it up so that the uh, to, keep it open. to keep it open, uh, but uh, there's an equal argument that if it's winning, why change <laughs> yeah, it? Exactly. So that's the, that's the feel. That when when yes. when have I done it so um, openly that the opponent must do something, and then put in the variation. Side an awful lot of the time. Don't you think it's interesting, though, Steen? I mean, I always think of Antonson as being particularly good at the flat, fast exchanges, but he's yeah. not getting he's not getting any advantage against Watanabe with that. No, he, he's he's super good in, in the, the flat game. Seems like yeah, he's got a, a strong forearm. The uh, racket movements really really quick. From what's an arbor. Service over. Nine. Ten. You often see players that um, are not particularly Service high over. be strong in the flat Nine. game because it's quicker Eight. to move the uh, limbs, little shoulder limbs, uh, yeah. the arms. Um, and easier to squat down as well, so yes. you can drive it back. Yes, so you can you can hit it from a higher position relatively on your body than uh, the taller players can. Ten, That's eight. the beauty about this game that you get some advantages due to your build, but you also get some disadvantages. Good shot. Just wides. And therefore it's a two-point advantage four. here at the mid-game interval in favour of Anna's Antonsen of oh, Denmark. Play. 
So 11-9 in favour of Anna Zantonsen. I don't suppose you got to hear any of that coaching, Steve. No, no. We, we got in. Ten. First of all, we got in late, and then Joachim Pearson was blocking the microphone. And <laughs> so trying to yeah. make sense of those scattered words, I caught uh, that that's not meaningful. Yeah. Oh, that's a lovely return. Was the serve a little loose? It was. Service over. 11, 12. Well, Antonson wants the shuttle changed. Blink. Watanabe says no. Sometimes comes and goes. And this was a very, very uh, long shot from uh, Watanabe all of a sudden. Service over. 12, 13. It, but your analysis a little earlier, Steen, the fact that he's nearly always smashing straight down that line. I've been watching since. I can't remember a, a cross-court smash no. from that position. And, and, and uh, the, the, the thing now that, that's interesting to me is that he's going to try Sir. and variate now, because I think the last couple of times, Antonsen has had um, good control over that smash. Now he missed one, so it would be natural to try and go cross or body on the next one. And will Antonsen read that? Does he have the same feeling? Well, he's opened up a nice so. four-point cushion here. Yeah, and on, on the back of that missed... Um, attack straight down the line. It was at 12 13. Yeah. What's an arbit? There was the cross. Yeah. 17. So. had it covered. Oh, that's a brilliant defense from Antonson. My goodness me. Can he play that across court? Take a look at this. That is fantastic. Six point Play. cushion now. Seven point Seven, cushion. Six. Just pulled away, isn't 19, it? 19, 12. Ever since Watanabe missed that straight smash down exactly. the line. 19, six straight. 11. Double quick time.
There's his favourite shot again. Another way to bring up so. game point opportunities. On a run of seven straight points. Ooh, looks as if he touched the net. Well, that's landed in. Service over. First game point, well saved. 30, 20. Oh, was it the shuttle? Or yeah, was I think it, it was the shuttle. Or was it the racket? We need to see it from the net camera to get a, yeah. a good view on it. Forty, twenty. Silver, ten, eight. Oh, forward, wasn't he? Yeah. The follow up, and that's landed okay. in. And the opening game on his third game point opportunity. Twenty-one, forty. 21-14 confirms the umpire. Opening game lasting 21 minutes. So one game away, under Zantonson from the first ever quarter final here at the Malaysian Open. Players on top. Second game. Love all. Play. Well, Anna Zantonson really did look very impressive in that opening game. 21-14 against Koki Watanabe. There are any over. words of wisdom from your Pearson Love. that you think we should know about? Um, the, the thing that's interesting was that they reminded each other, Pearson and Antonsen, that, that Antonsen cannot play too soft into the front court because he's got a lot of respect for the angled shots that um, Watanabe has the cross net drop and the quick flat um, lifts over him. 
I think the interesting thing here is to see whether Watsonaba can control the lengthwise drift, because then I think he would get a little bit help in his attack from the drift. Anton I'm sure, is feeling that he's playing on, on his preferred side right now. I just have a feeling that it could be uh, interesting to see if uh, Watsonaba perhaps also is playing his better side now. Service over. Push on it. What a fabulous rally. Oh, I think that might be the longest of the match so far. Real quality. But look how much Watanabe is moving and how little Antonsen is moving. Yeah. Using his reach, the Dane. Six shots, 10 shots longer than the previous longest rally. Seven, four. Over. Well, he did enjoy Three, success with two. that smash down the forehand, straight smash down the forehand side of Antonsen yeah. in the opening game. He did. And here's another one. Five, I think it's always so easy for us to think of here, but uh, I think Anthony should have covered it because he's he defended the two cross smashes that he attempted at Watsonabe. He defended them well, so uh, there was a big chance that it was going to go back to the forehand side. Started the momentum in favour of Antonsen in that rally. Ten. Yeah, it wasn't the best of lifts. Service over. Oh. 
call five. Challenge here. Okay, Hockey, what another challenges call in? No. Oh. Oh, I'm certainly not in the best position to see that. No. I think it may have clipped the line. Ten. Let's see. Oh, no, I'm wrong. That's a good challenge. Good challenge, what another. Correction. Out. Oh. with the sideways drift but Five. It's shot it tends to Four. play less effect the drift service over six five the moment he makes a little loose shot, uh, Watsonava, then Antonsen is there to capitalize on it. It wasn't a bad shot at all. It was just not possible to do anything really good on it. And immediately Antonsen converted into something good. Seven. Five. placement. Oh, what a super backhand. Service on scored near shot from Watanabe. Seven. Take a look at this. Yeah. Off. And he somehow put tumble on that. Great skill from Watanabe. And then he squanders the next point. And it's over. Eight, six. Service over. because I, I'm sitting here with a feeling that Antonsen has pretty much dominated this second game. Um, so, and, and I'm not really sure how Watanabe has gotten those eight points from. Yeah.
first game. Close this three point deficit back at nine all. And there's one thing that I haven't really been uh, paying enough attention to, and that is that Watanabe did not play a full match yesterday. He didn't even play a full game. So it's basically like it's his first match okay. here in the arena. So maybe he's just about to uh, like sort to of get settled. That's a good point. That's a nice shot. Where was the winning Ten, smash against him? Yeah. Four straight points to go into the lead. I would like to see Anton take some um, uh, moves on the front court. I think Watanabe, when he plays uh, into the net, he plays a little bit away from the net with a little bit of extra height on, and Anton is. It's a little bit uh, hesitant on that shot. It has no options other than lifting. Um, if he could anticipate it, he has the options of moving on it. Down the forehand side of Antonsen once again proving the winner. And on a run of five straight points, it is Watanabe who goes to the mid-game interval with the advantage. First thing that Antonsen's got to do is stop this run of points. Five straight points before the mid game interval to Watanabe. Nice. That's a nice, and a nice angle. 10, 11. Team. 
Eleven. Oh. Once in a while, they're trying to put a little deception on it. Nice shot there. You didn't hear anything that was said in the mid-game interval, No, did we no. didn't get a microphone on uh, the Danes. Well, I was just pondering what on earth had been said to Antonsen, because he's won all three points since yeah. the mid-game interval. But upping the pace, I think. Yeah. Really quick to that um, so shot over. there, Watanabe. Oh. Able to convert a situation that's basically 50 50 to uh, something good. That one there. Cross off the cross off the cross. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's taking more chances at the net. He's trying to play close to the net, Antonsen, instead of lifting. talked about that in his first match in his yeah. team when Thank he was you. playing against Pernoy because it was quite noticeable that Antonsen was taking the shot much Thank higher at the net than Pernoy was. Yeah. Play. So five of the last six points by Antonsen. from both players. Great shot quality. Just 
very telling picture there. Watanabe looking at his shoes. Antonsen looking at Watanabe. Yeah. And Antonsen will have picked up on the fact that he was looking tired. Yeah. Six of the last seven points to the day. That's all a very good response, having lost five previous points part previous to that. Right. Seven of the last eight points. So. Has to be said that the drop shot 16. was a little loose from Antonsen, but watch how quickly Watanabe comes in for this. There's no way that was coming back. Hands double. Please welcome the technical officer. millimeters above the floor and gets the neck caught. Watanabe, take a look at this. Oh, that's just outrageous, isn't it? Look at in the deep forehand corner, what an Abe. Watch where he takes this. That's oh, barely shoulder height. Thank you. And again, the cross smash from Antonsen. Was that? 15, 17. Wonderful attempted kill from Antonsen. But look at the speed of what an Abe. Yeah, he was waiting there. Look at this, he's standing there. That's absolutely brilliant. Back in it. 17. Yeah, very much so. And that same strange feeling. How has he scored those 16 points? Antons has played so well after the uh, interval. 
picking up all the loose ones, Watanabe. Back level. Oh, oh well. Well, first of all, the umpire said no, he couldn't retie his shoelace. And he's doing so well. anyway. Yeah, that's clearly in. Yeah. Couldn't really hear what uh, Anas was saying, but I think he said something about his um, uh, feet were wobbly inside the shoes or socks were moving or something. Uh, he certainly doesn't anyway. need another injury, does he? He's been no. beset with injuries over the last couple of years. It's just wide. thing is the shoelaces and the socks and all these things they never come undone when you're when on you a good streak exactly oh my life. he just good lost three points yeah. <laughs> and after that time of the or we time of the shoelace from Antonson what an are they he's lost the next two points rather tamely To serve to Frederick Silas Lamketty. Love all. Play. Yeah. Change of pace. And a wonderful little block Play. at the front of the courts. And those three straight points since the retying of the shoelace. It, it simply was the shoe that was too loose. That's Love obvious. <laughs> Look at the speed he's playing with now. Love. He has three match point opportunities. Anders Antonsen for a first ever quarter final at the Malaysian Open. Oh. And he's done it. 21 14, 21 17. The margin of his victory. 53 minutes against Koki Watanabe. And Antonson. Well, speed of movement in that last rally. He was absolutely determined. Match won by Anders Antonson, 21 21 So we don't know who he will play in the quarterfinal tomorrow yet. It will either be Brian Yang or Kodai Naraoka, last year's beaten finalist. Uh, but he will enjoy today's uh, victory over Watanabe. 21 14, 21 17 in a match lasting 53 minutes.
welcome back to the Axiata Arena here in Kuala Lumpur for second round action at the Petronas Malaysia Open, the first World Tour event of 2024. Well, next up, uh, we have men's doubles and the two World Championship bronze medalists from Welver in 2019.